NASA's Perseverance rover is doing a great job on Mars, making discoveries that are just mind-blowing. However, even in all this, scientists have been trying to answer one question, and that is the whole purpose of the Perseverance rover. Is there any evidence of ancient life on Mars? As Perseverance tries to answer this question, it is also making other discoveries along the way. But most recently, it has made a discovery that has shocked the entire space industry. What could this be? Hey there guys, and welcome back to our channel, Mars Discovery. In today's video, we will take a look at the latest discovery of the Perseverance rover on Mars. That has left the entire space industry in shock. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more Mars-related content. With that out of the way, let's get right into it. Not so long ago, sometime around May 2022, NASA's Perseverance rover reached one of the biggest moments in its mission to Mars. It was finally set to begin the climb up an ancient delta feature that was in the crater where it landed. It was set to start moving up the hill as it made some stops to examine some of the rocks. The rocks it would be examining would be those that seemed to be capable of retaining evidence of past life on the planet. After it gets to the top and starts coming down, the rover will also be collecting some of these rocks as it places them at the base of the delta. These samples, which are placed in titanium tubes on the rover, will then be retrieved and brought back to Earth for further examination. However, this is not set to happen until sometime in the 2030s. When the rover got to this point, Dr. Katie Stack Morgan commented on it, saying, The delta in Yezero Crater is the main astrobiology target of Perseverance. These are the rocks that we think likely have the highest potential for containing signs of ancient life, and can also tell us about the climate of Mars and how it has evolved over time. The rover, whose sole purpose is to find any evidence of ancient life on the red planet, made its spectacular landing in the middle of Mars's Yezero crater on February 18, 2021. The crater is about 45 kilometers wide. Since its landing, it has been running some tests on its surroundings thanks to the tools and instruments that are on it. In addition to this, the rover also has a small sidekick, a small helicopter known as Ingenuity. Recently, with the rover's ascension up the hill, the Ingenuity helicopter has mostly been surveying an intriguing ridgeline near the ancient river delta in the crater. It managed to capture some images on April 23rd at the request of the Perseverance Mars rover science team. The team wanted the pictures so that they could examine the sloping outcrop. Ken Farley of Caltech, who is also Perseverance's project scientist, said, Ingenuity not only provides imagery from an aerial perspective, but also allows our team to be in two places at once on Mars. Sending the rover to survey and prospect in one location while launching the helicopter to survey another 100 meters away is a great time saver. It can also help us explore areas the rover will never visit, as in this case. The images that were recently taken by the helicopter show some tilted rocks. These images suggest that tilted rocks layers in this area of Mars are quite uncommon. The scientists will better understand the history of the crater floor with the help of Ingenuity's shots of the two angled ridgelines. They can now compare the shots and come up with a conclusion. This might even help them understand the forces that were at play in this part of the Yezero crater billions of years ago. But now we have to know, how does Ingenuity really work? The images of the tilted rock that were recently captured by Ingenuity are from the helicopter's scan to view the back shell and parachute that helped the Perseverance rover land on Mars. These images are valuable because they could also help ensure safer landings for any future landings on the planet. This might include the Mars Sample Return Lander. The Mars Sample Return Lander is part of a multi-mission project that aims to bring back the samples collected by the Perseverance rover. The samples include Martian rocks, atmosphere, and sediment. All these will be brought back to Earth for analysis to understand the planet better. NASA conducted the first ever test flight of Ingenuity in April 2021. This was the first ever aircraft to fly on another planet as part of the Mars 2020 Perseverance mission. This little helicopter is about 1.8 kilograms, so it's really not that big. 
One of Rover's main objectives as it makes its way to the near equatorial bowl on the red planet is to study the huge mound of sediments on the west of Yezero. Perseverance's initial observations on the ground have confirmed that there is, in fact, a delta. It was only presumed to be a delta, but this was based on satellite imagery. But what exactly is a delta? A delta is just a structure built up from the silt and sand dumped by a river as it enters a wider body of water. Because of the sudden deceleration that occurs as the river flows, anything that was carried in suspension falls out. And with time, it accumulates. In this case, the larger body of water was more of a crater-wide lake that existed billions of years ago. Professor Sanjeev Gupta from Imperial College London, UK, who is also one of the mission scientists, said, Rivers that flow into a delta will bring nutrients which are helpful for life, obviously, and then the fine-grained sediments that is brought and laid down at a high rate in a delta is good for preservation. Also, if there is life in the hinterland, it can be brought down the river and concentrated in a delta. In the past few weeks, Perseverance has managed to maneuver itself to an on-ramp to the delta, which was dubbed Hawksbill Gap. This is just a gentle incline that is set to take the robot to an elevation of a few tens of meters above the crater floor. This ascent is referred to as a reconnaissance. Once Perseverance goes to the delta, it will roam around the area as it looks for the most enticing delta rock. There are also some exquisitely layered, fine-grained outcrops that the rover will also explore. Professor Brian E. Horgan from Purdue University, Indiana, said that, The rover has an amazing suite of instruments that can tell us about the chemistry, mineralogy, and structure of the delta, by examining the sediments all the way down to the scale of a grain of salt. Most of the scientists on this mission have one thing in common. They are all aiming to learn more about the chemistry of this ancient lake. They all wanted to determine whether the waters were acidic or neutral, whether they were habitable or not, and what kind of life lived there. But no one knows whether there is life on Mars. But if ancient life did exist on the planet, three or four of the rocks that Perseverance chose to drill and cache back down to the crater floor could hold the answers. As much as all the instruments on the rover are smart, the rover cannot give a definitive statement on whether or not there is indeed life on the planet, even back here on Earth. As much as we know that microbial life has existed for billions of years, the evidence of its earliest fossilized forms is still really hard to interpret. It can even be contentious at times. As a result, scientists will have to wait until the rock collection is returned before they can provide a definitive answer about the existence of life on Mars. Do you think that they could find evidence of ancient life on Mars? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Mars Discovery, and hit the bell icon for more intriguing content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.